guys, this is Kyle from KGR doing a brand new room tour for my 2,000 subscriber special. Well, thank you guys so much for allowing me to hit 2,000 subscribers, and now I'm going to present you with a new room tour. I can tell I'm out here in the hallway because I got a new poster on the outside, and I'm just going to do a more detailed room tour because normally my room tours are just really half-assed and they're like just rushed. But now I'm actually going to take my time, show you everything. Well, not absolutely everything, but like go in more detail on what's in my room. So, let's get started. So, first thing you're going to see is a GTA 5 poster with Trevor that my friend Nico gave me. No, not the Nico that you all know and love in my newest, one of my newer vlogs, but this is a different Nico. But yeah, thank you Nico for getting me this. And there used to be a Beavis and Butthead poster out here, but... You'll see what I did with that once we barge the door open. Well, okay, we, we need to open it. I was just going to kick it, but no, no. Apparently, it's actually legitimately, legitimately closed, so now we can kick it open. <laughs> there is a quick look real quick, so we'll get more in-depth. All right, so when you look to the left, first thing you're going to see are two Club Nintendo posters that are based off Smash Brothers. They're actually really new, and I framed them up so they actually stay in decent condition. Alright, so the top one is uh, Link, uh, Pit, Palutena, and then Dark Pit right in that little corner. Now, I absolutely love this poster because not only is it like an anime hand-drawn style, but also like the way the colors look, it just reminds me of like a retro Nintendo Power that I, that I actually still have. Like, I think they're like, from like late 80s to early 90s, I believe. <clears throat> I know, I'm dying. But yeah, I love it. It just has that... I, I don't know that type of mo motif. I don't know and then down here. We got a Mario Galaxy motif But it's still a Mo uh, Super Smash Brothers poster like we have Rosalina Luma Mario, but we have Fox and we fit trainers, so Obviously, no, it's not just a Mario Galaxy poster All right, so once you come in and you close the door we get to where I usually start my room tours. First up, let's look up and we see my infamous second son poster. And then we have my keyblade up here that I still want to replace because as you can tell uh, it has some battle wounds. <laughs> but uh, still, I want to get a new one anyway. Okay, we got my Mario Brothers 3 hoodie you've actually seen in a few of my Let's Plays. Uh, we also got my sleeveless hoodie that I haven't used in like a year which I'm not even going to use anymore because it's actually small. Anyway, we also have uh, this other hoodie that I don't even use anymore because I just have other hoodies. All right, then we have my messenger bag from Club Nintendo. I haven't used it since my senior year of high school. Then we got a bunch of belts back here that I don't even use because I have a Pokemon belt, which I love a lot more. All right, then we have this hoodie for the winter. And then behind that, there's absolutely nothing except for... My full metal alchemist pocket watch, which I don't even use anymore because here it's like starting to slowly fall apart. As you can tell, like we have this piece that like has that chain come off really easily, and it's just overall in bad shape. I may need to get another one, but I don't know. But it still functions, so that's good. Uh, also, we got this uh, this gym bag of Sonic that I absolutely love and I still use to this day. All right, so once we back up a little bit, uh, we see. This little banner of GTA 5 from Walmart, but I actually got it from work, and I don't even work at Walmart. Okay, and then down here we got a couple of remotes, so that looks really awesome. Alright, and then down here we also have a Cartman, and then we have a little bin full of toys and stuff, but I'll go over that real soon. I'm not going to actually go inside, because I, I think I might have done a video of me digging in there. I know I've done some treasure hunting videos before, <laughs> but anyway... If you go up here, uh, we have a toy chain, all right, and it has a whole bunch of plushes. So starting from the top, we have a Pikachu. We have a Snorlax. Okay, I got this probably from either my mom or my brother. I can't remember. I remember, I remember we got a Hot Topic. We got a Snorlax from my friend Zach, that which I actually started. I talked to again like a couple months ago, and before that, we haven't talked to each other in like years, which is really awesome that we got to see each other again. Uh, then we got a Bulbasaur, which I can't remember where I got that. Um, then we got Mewtwo. I had that since I was a kid. We got Poliwhirl and Azurel, both from my friend Brent. And then we got Reptar, which I bought myself. 
I got a Chucky that I bought from Chris, aka Resnor00. He does a bunch of Minecraft live streams, so if you want to check it out, hopefully I'll pro provide a link in the description if I remember. But anyway, we also got a Billy plush, which is from Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, which I love. And my cat, Sissy Girl, has come in! And she probably wants me to hold her. No, I'm not going to hold you, pretty girl. Shh. <laughs> anyway, we also got Sackboy. And I am getting another Sackboy later this month. Uh, I'm probably just going to put it on this chain. But here it's going to be a Sackboy with a target hat. Also, we got Mordecai and Rigby. And then we got a Sonic plush right here. Alright, and then let's start moving up here. Okay, so we... We got a little bit of bad lighting. <laughs> we also got a, um, a Sonic poster that I used to have under my shelves. But now, that's no longer a thing. And now my cat left. Excellent. All right, so we got a Mario hat from Club Nintendo. And actually, hold on, let me grab the light. I thought the sunlight would do most of the job for me, but apparently not. You know what, now I got it. Okay, it's all good. Okay, then we got a Sonic hat. That's like the Sonic spines. And then we have a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh boxes. It's Yu-Gi-Oh Co Legendary Collections 3 and 4, Yu-Gi and Joey's World. I did not get Legendary Collection 5 because it's just way too expensive. And I guarantee the price is not going to drop anytime soon. So I might not even pick it up. Then we have a Legendary Collection 1 binder with a bunch of my good cards. Uh, that at least are not in my deck. <laughs> and then we have Legendary Collection 2, which is mainly full of my cards that were from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And then in this binder, half of it's Pokemon, half of it's Yu-Gi-Oh! But the Yu-Gi-Oh! section is not really all that impressive because all the good cards are now in here. But anyway, let's keep moving along. If you look behind this, you see a couple of boxes and tins. The two boxes on top of the tins are actually my friend Pete's cards. He just keeps them here so he doesn't have to bring them because like, I'm the only person he plays Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh! with. So, he just keeps them here, and then whenever, whenever he comes over and we want to play some card games, we just pull that out. And then that's also my infamous second son beanie, because I'm tired of just pulling the beanie out of the box. If I ever want to wear it, I just keep it up there now. Alright, and then we have a bunch of hats back up there, but I'm going to show you all of them pretty soon. Okay, but first, we also got my Yu-Gi-Oh deck, and then my two Pokemon decks. And then these are a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh mats. I have three of them. And then there's some more mats down here. Like there's a Pokemon mat. Alright, and also there's a Sonic ring under these hats. So let me pull out the ring first. And this is actually my latest vlog. Uh, because I was dressed up. Like I was cosplaying as Sonic uh, during the Hershey Comic Con. So there you go. Now let's go over the hats I got. Alright, so we got a Crash Bandicoot hat, which I absolutely love so much. I paid about like $50 for it, and I just ordered a Crash Bandicoot watch, which I got for $10, which is an amazing deal, because the cheapest one I ever saw before that was like $12. So I'm really happy I finally got it for $10, because it usually goes upwards to like $30 or $50. Bucks. So I seem to be getting a little bit lucky when it comes to eBay, except for the Resource Sonic, but I'm going to take that as just a sign or maybe I just have to wait on it and get an even better deal when I find one with all the accessories. Or heck, even in a box, I don't know. But yeah, we got Crash, PlayStation sign, and Crash Bandicoot logo on the back. Uh, it's a little small, but you can adjust it. But I mean, like, the top part itself is awfully small, so I'll wear it too often. Then we got a Sonic hat, which is not bad, like front side Sonic and then the rest of it's just blue then under it it says Sonic the Hedgehog it's pretty cool and then behind those hats I have a Ash Ketchum hat um I got that off Amazon I believe yeah and also I'm getting a Hyrule Warrior scarf awfully soon so in fact I might be recording this room tour just a little bit early but it's not like it's gonna change my room all that much it's just gonna be another part of my collection then we got this hat that matches my other hoodie, which unfortunately is not in my room right now because it's getting washed because my cat threw up on it. Yay! So there you go. I actually got this from my brother. And out of all these hats, this one probably fits me the best. Uh, these two you can actually just adjust, but they look silly. This one is just mainly just for looks because it like crushes my head when I wear it. It like 
cuts off circulation. It's really bad. And it's the highest, it's like the biggest size I could find. Okay, and then up here there's also a Pikachu Laplander hat, I believe. Yeah, there's some more hats up here. I got plenty of hats. Err, come on. Let me get some. Thank you. Because I, I think one of the strings got caught by something. So yeah, this is my Pikachu Laplander hat. I absolutely love this thing. My friend Norris got it for me. Actually, no, he got it, and then I bought it off him because I really wanted it. And like, I think it went to like Park City Mall, which is awfully far away, which I don't even want to go down there just to get a hat. Anyway, we also got a Pac-Man holiday hat. Like, it's like a winter hat. I don't remember exactly how I got this. I, I remember it had to do something with Saturday's Market, but that's all I remember. And I know it's a tiny freaking hat, and I absolutely love the fact that I have it, because it's Pac-Man. And then we got uh, my Christmas hat. So when I do work and it's getting the holiday season, I'm going to start wearing this again. So, just a couple of weeks. Yay! And then, after that, it's just Monopolies. Just Nintendo. I think this is GameStop Edition, because I know there's a different version of Monopoly that is out there that I didn't get yet. Uh, it's, like, it's actually like a box like this, where it's actually a thin box, instead of a thick box like that. Anyway, because uh, I know my my aunt got that for me, and she got it from GameStop. But anyway, there's Nintendo, Pokemon, which is an older Pokemon, because there is a newer Pokemon coming out, where here, these are just like rubbery plastic figures, but here, the uh, newer ones can actually have pewter pieces, like these guys. Anyway, there's a Sonic one. I got it for Christmas last year, and I still never played it yet, because nobody wants to play! It's bullcrap! <laughs> And then we have a turtle shell, like a Koopa shell up there. And then a bunch of magazines. A bunch of them are like, there's two of them that are guides. That's like Mario Galaxy 2 and Pokemon. And then there's a few comics up there from uh, Free Comic Book Day. A couple of Sonic comics. And then the most majority of it are retro Nintendo Power magazines that my mom got me uh, back when she was working at Saturday's Market, like on Sundays. All right, and then I'm gonna put all these up back here soon. Like, I'm gonna probably gonna stop recording soon because it's gonna hit the 20 minute mark. Like, I don't know, in like eight minutes, seven minutes. And then once that happens, I'll throw all that up back up there, and then I'll continue. All right, so as you can tell, this has a dramatic change. My DS games used to be up here, but I was starting to run low on room on my figure shelf, so I decided to optimize my room. And here I also got rid of my cassette tapes, like they're all under my bed now, but I'll show you that soon. So Mario is still up here, high and proud, but he used to be on the other side. But here behind Mario, oh, if I can get you out, there's my boxes for my Ho-Oh and Garatina figures, which I don't exactly remember where I put those. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, they're right here, Never mind. <laughs> I'm silly. Anyway, uh, then we also got a couple of cases that hold six DS games in each of them, which they're not really all that reliable because the way that they were made is just so bad. And then a DS manual, which I technically don't even need, any need anymore because the only reason why I would have it is if I still had the box, and I can't remember what I did with the box. I probably threw it away. Anyway, we also got the Guitar Hero on tour box with the guitar grip inside there because that just makes it easier for storage purposes because I don't really play Guitar Hero on the DS anymore, and if I do in there. And then we got the box for Pokemon Heart Gold because I knew I was going to regret throwing away the box. I'm not going to resell it, but it's still a nice collector's piece to have. Okay, then we got the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, DSi XL, and the 3DS. Now, I still have a DSi that's out in the living room, but my dad uses that for the internet. So once I get a new iPhone, I'm going to get my dad my iPod so he can use that to surf the internet because a DSi is just a horrible machine to use for the internet. Okay, then we also got the infamous Second Sun Collector's Edition box, my Elgato box, my DSi box, my 3DS box, and my 3DS XL box is inside the 3DS box, which is ironic because the smaller system has a bigger box. <laughs> And then over here we have a bunch of Happy Meal slash minifigures. We got a Frogger 2 figure from Wendy's. We got 
all the Mario Kart 8 figures. I'm actually having, I'm having a hard time trying to see all the figures. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Then we also got a Goomba from a Happy Meal. We got uh, Mario from the first line of Wendy's Mario toys. Because they had like two lines that I know of. Then we have a Crash Bandicoot Bendy figure from Hardy's, a.k.a. Carl's Jr. Because I'm going to start from the back and then go into the front. Because that just makes that easier, I guess. Then I believe this is McDonald's. It's a Dr. Robotnik figure from Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, I believe. At least that's the way that the art style looks. Uh, then we also got a blue figure from Burger King. Because I know Burger King and McDonald's did those. And I got that actually from the display case. The guy was nice enough to give it to me. So thank you, guy. <laughs> then we got a Kirby figure that was supposed to be part of a... What's it? Not McDonald's. Burger King toy. It was actually inside of a little container. And I just destroyed the living crap out of the container just to get that little Kirby figure out. Because I know I was not going to get a Kirby figure anytime soon before that. Um, I may eventually get a Kirby figure, but I don't know. Then we got a Super Mario Brothers 3 Mario, which it has the raccoon tail, and that's from McDonald's, and that's pretty much it from the back. Now we'll move on to the front. Okay, I said there's a couple of Mario Kart toys. I have the whole line. The hat is actually above my TV, which you'll see pretty soon. And then we got a Pac-Man. I honestly don't even know what this is from. I don't know if it was from a Happy Meal. I don't know if it was from a... Cereal box. I was, I'm assuming it's a cereal box toy because there's no markings indicating on where it's from. So, if you know, let me know in the comments because I would love to know my pro my. I like to know my toys. Like, and hold on. All right, quick edit right there. The phone was ringing, and plus I had to put the hats back up there, and it was about to hit 20 minutes anyway. It was like actually at 15 minutes, but still. Anyway, uh, I just got past the Pac-Man. Okay, then we got little mini mates figures of Uncharted's uh, Nathan Drake, and I believe that's Chloe. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played Uncharted. Uh, more of a Nintendo guy than a PlayStation guy, except when it comes to Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot is my homeboy. Okay, then we got Luigi, Mario, and Yoshi, and then we got another Mario on top of a question mark block that came from the SH Figure Arts Mario, a Daisy figure. Yes, unfortunately, I'm missing a Peach. I didn't. I haven't gotten these figures in like ages. Then we got a bunch of little bad guys, like a Paragoomba, Koopa Troopa, uh, Lakitu, uh, this is a Happy Meal Paratroopa, and then we got a Bula Bill back there as well. And then up front we have a ho -Oh from pre-ordering Heart Gold, a uh, Garatina from pre-ordering Platinum, a couple of minifigures of Young Link, a Skyward Sword Link, Skyward Sword Zelda, then a couple of Pokemon figures from Pokemon Rumble U, which consist of Pikachu, Mewtwo, Jirachi, Victini, Zoroark. I honestly don't remember, but I can actually look real quick. It is Litwick. Yeah, I'm not too fond of Generations 5 and 6. I, I, honestly, I don't even know all the Pokemon. I, like, There's still Pokemon I find out about to this day about Generation 6. Anyway, then we got... A uh, white Kyurem, and then a shiny Genesect. And then we also have a little Palkia that was supposed to be part of a stylus that I ended up breaking. I have no idea. <clears throat> and then we get to the TV. As you can tell, I put my Mario hat up here because it looks really cool. I think it's adorable. It kind of reminds me of Mario Kart 64 where they have a giant Mario hat on top of bleachers, I believe. Then we got my PlayStation camera up here. Because here, there used to be a VCR under my TV, which I actually moved over here. But now I have room to put my thing up here. Uh, it was mainly because of... I forget. Like, I was just running low on room, and this would always block my view. Now, I don't know why it's so blurry. Autofocus, thank you very much. This like was getting in the way of my vision of playing the game. So if I had friends over, I had to scoot over, and then like this was like totally block my view. It was just god awful. So I fixed that issue. So we got my TV, the Vizio, 32 inch. I don't know if it's set to 60 hertz or 120 hertz. I can't remember. I honestly don't even know because I got it for Christmas and I didn't even shop for it. Okay, over here we got um, a Pac-Man tin, so you can eat candy out of it. I ate all the candy like a couple of days after I got it. Then we got a couple of Pez dispensers of Toad and Yoshi. I ate all the all the Pez, but not all in one day, so not that fat. Okay, then we got like 
a earpiece from PS4, like a note. I believe it's actually Eric's password for his uh, Google account, so I can upload videos for him. Um, then we got a cloth that cleans my glasses, which I don't even use. A couple of pins and a little USB thing over there that's actually a wireless antenna that was supposed to be part of my old router, which I don't even use anymore because I got a new one, which is much better. Okay, then we got the Wii Sensor Bar down here because uh, you need to put it somewhere, right? Then we got a Mario stylus I use for my DS. And then back there is a trash can, which I should empty pretty soon. So, there you go. So, you know I'm not a litter bug. Okay, and let's go over the shelves first before I go over what's down here. So finally, some decent lighting. So obviously we got the signature blockbuster sign. Unfortunately, they're not in too many of my videos anymore. It's like only the bottom part is in my videos. But, oh well, right? Okay, then we move along with my Sonic figures. Like, the first half is all Sonic. And it's really cool. Like, here I have every character they released, at least Jazzwares-wise. Um, for Sonic Boom, I still need to get Sticks and Eggman. No, I'm not going to be getting them anytime soon, unfortunately, because of Christmas and the fact that the money I was going to use to get those figures, I used for my ID instead, mainly because I'm going to be applying for a new partnership pretty soon because my, my regular partnership is ending like in a couple of weeks and the new partnership that I want, like the new network I want to be with has a much higher paying cut and also it's not a, a year contract, it's just not locked in at all, actually. You, you can leave whatever you want. Alright, so we got Dr. Robotnik, Classic Super Sonic, Classic Metal Sonic, and then we got Classic Amy or Rosie the Rascal, and then we got Sonic, Tails, Classic Forms, and then we got Team uh, Team Chaotix, which is Charmy, Espio, and Vector the Crocodile, I believe. Oh yeah, we also have a little Badnik back there. I believe it's the... Uh, Egg Robo. I can't remember exactly what it's called because it's been a while since I played Sonic R. <laughs> then we got Silver and Blaze. Yeah, I changed the order of how these looked. <clears throat> Mainly, like, they're supposed to be, like, in their teams uh, instead of, like, being based off the poster how they used to be. Anyway, uh, we also have this. Yeah, we got the super characters, like the super hedgehogs. And then behind Eggman, we have a clear blue Sonic and SPO. You might not be able to see. Hopefully, you can. I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, and then we got Eggman. We got Shadow and Metal Sonic. Because unfortunately, they never made a Rouge or Omega figure, so I just put Shadow with Eggman since they've been on the same side before. And then, obviously, we've got the regular duo Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. You know, without the steroids. <laughs> then we got Amy. And big back there, unfortunately, there is no cream figure yet, but it's only a matter of time, Jazzwares, right? And then back here, we also have the Werehog and Black Knight Sonic, so that's good. And then we also got the Sonic Riders characters. We have Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Jet, Wave, and Storm. And there should be more bad nicks around here somewhere. There should be like a Moto Bug and everything, too, but I honestly have no idea where they are. Actually, no, I see Moto Bug, he's right there. There also be a crawler figure. I don't know. This should it, it's probably all back there. It's a little hard to see. Then we get the Sonic Boom logo right here because it's a thing. Then we got two Ender Beam things from when I got a couple of two packs. Then we got Sonic, Knuckles, Amy, and Tails. So all I'm missing is Sticks and Eggman. I also got Orbot and Cubot back there, which is awesome. We also got a Rosaurus Crash Bandicoot figure. This is the Jetpack Crash, which I love so much. And the accessories are mainly in the back. Then we got a Spyro plush from Taco Bell. We also got a Sora figure. I forget who made the Sora figures. I mean, the Kingdom Hearts figures, at least for the first line, back when Kingdom Hearts 1 was, you know, the most relevant. Then we got Duke Nukem back there. And then we have my Nendoroid Luigi, which is adorable. But soon he's going to be put in the back of the shelf for, and he's going to be replaced by the SH figure arts Luigi. However, Luigi will eventually not be alone anymore because there's going to be a Nendoroid Mario. However, it's been a while since we've got any details about it. We got like a picture of Luigi and Mario together and after that we got nothing after that. So it's just a matter of waiting. Then we got the tunnels, like the tubes uh, with each Mario figure. 
Uh, we also got SH Figure Arts Mario with like almost all of its accessories out. The only thing that's not out is like probably like extra stands and stuff. All the coins are out. Yeah. There's supposed to be three coins. There's one back there, one right there, and then one right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And anyway, uh, then we got a Happy Meal, uh, what's it, Mario back there. I couldn't fit it up on the shelf, and it wasn't taking too much room, so I might as well just slip it back there. Okay, then behind Naruto, we have Met and Rush. But anyway, here's here's Naruto. And then we got Pit back there, just flying up uh, next to Mono Eye. Then we got Mega Man and Mega Man X. Unfortunately, my Mega Man figure has snapped. However, I have fixed them, so he can still have all this articulation back. Uh, it's a little bit of a rig, because replacing that figure is way too freaking expensive. And here, it would probably just happen all over again anyway, so... Just gotta... Do what I got. Do what I can do, you know. Okay, then we got my Figma Link back there, which is such an amazing uh, Link figure. Here, my cousin got a Figma Link. He's only like, what, thirteen or something? I can't remember how old he is, or twelve. And he broke it like a week after. And I told him to get the World of Nintendo Link because it's cheaper, and if it ends up breaking, then he can just get another one for the same price instead of paying sixty dollars for another figure. But no, 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 he got a Figma Link instead and broke the scabbard, and I forget what else he broke. He broke something else. I think he broke... He also lost a piece, I believe, for the shield. I can't remember what happened. Ah, uh, James. James. Anyway, we also got the Nendoroid Sonic, which is the most adorable Sonic figure in the world. <laughs> then we got the goalpost, the ring, the Chaos Emerald, and a 20 rings item capsule. Then we got Black Zero back there. And then we got my newest prize possession, my Joyride Sonic. I love this thing so much. Like, I'll be sitting at my desk, look up, love it, pick it up, look at it from a certain angle, and be like, oh, I love this thing. And then turn it around and move the head a little bit. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand since, you know, I'm holding the camera. Uh, there we go. Oh, well. Like and just like look at it from like that angle too, so at least like look back at you. I love this figure. I'm so happy I got this figure. I'm, in fact, I'm actually happier that I got it now than 12 years ago because I would have destroyed the figure by then. <laughs> and I honestly think the um, this is probably the new like not the newer version. Like I think there's like two releases for these figures, and I think this is the earlier one. That I don't know off the top of my head. I this is like all speculation. I do need to do. More proper research. And also, apparently they release these figures in bags as well, without the stands. So, there you go. We also got a Year of Luigi poster that I framed up because I don't want to ruin it. Then we got another toy chain that has Sonic and Knuckles from Sonic Underground. I believe those were Denny's toys? I can't remember. It should say on the on a little tag, I think. Nope, apparently not. But I remember Knuckles was in a bag, and I opened it because I want him outside it. Anyway, then we got a Tails from Jazzwares, uh, Sonic and Shadow. Shadow, not Knuckles. In my pickups video, I called him Knuckles for some reason. But anyway, um, I don't really know the story behind them. Uh, they just look really derpy. They're from Toy Network, apparently. Um, I never heard of that company, so I don't know. We also got uh, Mario and Luigi. And I believe someone's at the door, so I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I keep getting interrupted. It's so freaking irritating, but whatever. Fine, fine. Okay, then we also got a Mario that my brother got at a claw machine at Hershey Park. We got this Luigi, which I had to rewrite the L on because it just wore off really easily. And uh, I believe my mom got that for me for Christmas, like, so many years ago. A Mario, which I bought from Chris, which was, like, a couple months ago, I think. A Wario and Donkey Kong. I both I got them both from GameStop. I believe those were released around like 2003, back when Mario Party was out. I forget which Mario Party was out at the time, but whatever. We got a red Pikmin and yellow Pikmin. Unfortunately, they did not release a blue Pikmin, at least not in the World of Nintendo line, because I don't want to pay extra money for the other ones. Then we got a Spyro plush. I got from oh I forget who got it for me. It was, I think it was Ethel, a uh, lady that my mom used to work with, whatever. We got 
Crash Bandicoot plush. This is based off Crash Bandicoot 1, and then below it there's Crash based off Crash Bandicoot 2. Then we got a Coco plush, Dr. Neo Cortex, Komodo Mo or Komodo Joe, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, then we got a Creeper. <clears throat> And I might as well go over what's over here. Um, I forget who drew this for me, but here there's a guy uh, in the building that I work in who draws little cartoons like this. And he drew everybody everybody that was a vendor. And I guess they didn't do, like, suppose there's one stand that has multiple people. I don't think he did absolutely everybody. Like, at our stand, they only did, like, the guy only did me. He didn't do Mason or Josh. I can think because they were mainly camera shy. They just wanted me to deal with it. But oh well. But still, thanks, man. It's really awesome. I love it. My mom wanted to frame it, but we never did. So I just got some thumbtacks and just like pr like pierced it like in the little bag itself. I didn't hit the paper. Because I don't want to mess up the paper itself. Okay, then we got a Johnny Lightning Crash Bandicoot car. I wanted this thing for a while. I always saw it on eBay because it's very common, actually. But I finally got it. And then this is something that my brother gave me because he was getting rid of some stuff. And I didn't want him to get rid of that, so he gave it to me instead. So thank you, Zach. Then we got a Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed Hot Wheels, based off Danica Patrick's car in the game. Uh, this is a GameStop Rewards thing, so there you go. It's GameStop exclusive. And then we got a 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge, which I love so much. It's like my favorite car of all time. And I'm not even into the cars, so that means that means really means a lot. Uh, mainly all the ones I have, they're strictly like, what's it, they're like Matchbox, but I don't have too many Hot Wheels. The only other Hot Wheels GTO I have is like one that has like a giant motor coming out of it, it's really weird. Okay, then we got this, a girl gave that to me, uh, she didn't draw it specifically for me, she just drew it and then just gave it to me because she's nice, so thank you. Honestly, I can't remember your name, so I apologize for that, <laughs> but I think I know your sister, I think her name's Katrina, mainly because I was looking for another girl, uh, Katrina, on Facebook. It's, she's one of my friends. And then I found other Katrina. I'm like, oh, okay. Anyway, we got this Mega Man Dawn of X. Like, it's it's actually a comic, but this is like a centerfold, I guess. And uh, I got two of this comic, so I hung one up, and I have another one with the rest of my Nintendo powers and stuff. Then we got a Super Mario Galaxy 2 poster that came with my Mario Galaxy 2 Collector's Edition guide. And I put that in there because I didn't want to ruin it. Same with the Pikmin 3 poster, which I love so much. Also, I didn't say, there's stuff down here. There's a lot of stuff down here. <laughs> so I'll get, to, I'll get to that pretty soon. Okay, now let's get to that now so I don't forget. Okay, so behind all this stuff, there's a Stewie plush as a banana. Then we got a... Spy we got a bear that's dressed up like Spider-Man. And then down here, there's a bunch of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. In fact, there's a towel from when I took a shower this morning. Because, you know, I take a shower every morning because... Um, I, don't, I don't want my hair to be greasy because I always put product in my hair. And I just want to wash it. Okay, so down here, there is a bunch of junk. <laughs> We're like, let's move this towel for one. Okay. So we got this tin, it's cars, but it actually has a bunch of cars in it from the movie Cars. So unfortunately they're not all in the greatest condition anymore, and I don't collect them much anymore, but still, peace of my childhood, and I'm still happy to have it. Uh, this is probably from one of my last birthday parties. Uh, this is from, okay, I know it says happy birthday Zach, but no, no, it's mine. So I don't know why I should put it there. Well, actually, I think my brother signed it there. So, whatever. Screw you, Zach. Okay, anyway, yeah. This is a legitimate bowling pin. It's that they just drew all over it. And, unfortunately, some stuff has been inking off. So, it's a shame. There is a bunch of junk I do need to actually go in and actually throw away. Okay, then we got my Hot Wheels collection. There's a bunch of cars in here. Uh, if you actually want to take a look real quick, I can pull it out. It's not hard. Actually, I'm probably not going to go through all of it, but... There's a lot of cool stuff in here, like, there's an Oscar Mayer wiener, there's a mail truck in here somewhere, yeah, mail truck, um, but then a lot of it's mostly just judges and stuff, like, about half of it is judge, actually, <laughs> I think, like, it starts right up here, and it's actually a Mario judge, ironically. And then after that, it just goes down to judges. There's so many of them. And I 
again? The freaking phone? Ugh. God, I hate the phone being in my room. Anyway. So when you move this, we have uh, some Sonic slippers that I like to wear, but I put them back here because I don't wear them too often, and I have no room for them. Yeah. Then we got a M&M plush that Brandon got me a while ago. Then a Hess truck that I don't even care about. A couple of dual discs. I got the three made in America. Well, not made, but like released in America. We got the Chaos dual disc, the regular dual disc, and down there is the... Uh, GX dual desk. Then there's a bunch of book book bags uh, filled with a bunch of old childhood toys and plushes. And actually, no, no, take that back. Plushes are no longer in there because I took most of them and put them on shelves. Not shelves, but the uh, excuse me, <laughs> they put them on the chains. Yay! Then there's a crate over here full of toys, and then after that, it's pretty much nothing. So that's pretty much all you need to see. So I just gotta throw all this stuff back. Towel, duster, and sock. I forgot to take out that sock. Thought I got them all this morning, but no, no, apparently I didn't. And I'm a pig, aren't I? And then this, this is just a box, like a bin actually, full of a bunch of plushes and figures that, you know, I can't put on chains because they're way too freaking big. And then back here, there's like headphones, a die, there's actually two, yeah. Got two dice. A screw for some reason because I want to hang up a new frame, which I will probably will in the future. Anyway, yeah, headphones from Skull Candy. This is actually a poker set, which I actually like playing poker, but it's been a while since I played. Then a little thing for your guitar so it holds out all the strings on a fret. There you go. That's pretty much everything for down there. And now let's go over my desk. So here, my desk has changed mainly on this side okay so here is my VCR I don't watch too many tapes nowadays because I would record shows a lot all right and then it was mainly Saturday morning cartoons because that was the only thing I couldn't catch on demand but I I don't use it anymore because they got rid of Saturday morning cartoons and here my new cable box is no longer compatible with it so I can't even record Sonic Boom and Sonic Boom's not even on demand, so now I have to catch up online on YouTube. It's because I have to work when the show comes on. Which well, is a freaking shame. Anyway, on top of the VCR, we got my HD cable box, which I love. My 3DS XL, which I'm going to replace with my, my new 3DS XL. And a charging cradle for that is not as convenient as this, but fine. We also got my Wii Remote Charger. My Wii U gamepad on its charging cradle. Then in front of that is this annoying little thing. I want to destroy this thing so much. Here, the reason why it's in here is because of my new modem. I got the, like here the whole family has the XFINITY triple play. And the modem is down here because I'm the one who uses the internet a lot and I use the ethernet ports. And unfortunately, that means the phone has to be hooked up in here as well in order for it to work. So mom wants to eventually get a cord that's like 50 feet long, which I don't know why she didn't do that already, so she can hook it up out there, because that thing is annoying, and when I'm recording, it goes off, and it, it bugs the crap out of me. So I unplug it every time I record. So, you know what? Screw you. No, no, I don't give a crap. I don't want you going off. Shut up. Shut up. I hate you. Anyway, anyway. Uh, we got controllers. I am getting another DualShock 4 probably after or for Christmas. I have no idea. I'm getting a blue DualShock 4. I know that. And then we got a couple of DualShock 3s for my PS3. My Wii U Pro Controller. I'm only going to have one because I only need one. Then we got my Elgato Game Capture HD right here and all the cords, a couple HDMIs, and then. Yeah, yeah, it's a sloppy mess. But here I have. A charger that's hooked up to my DualShock 4 and my iPod and also if I end up getting an iPhone the lightning cable which I don't know why it's out of focus come on you can auto focus you know how to do that stupid camera there we go and they're all hooked up to the back of my cable box because it has a USB port and it's always active same with my Wii anyway then we also got my GameCube my Wii my Wii U my PS2 PS3 and PS4 and also 
quick tip. If your PS4 is being stood up like this, every once in a while you're going to want to lift it up and clear under here because a lot of dust bunnies get under here. In fact, let's actually take a look at how many dust bunnies are under here. Um, getting a rig. There we go. We're going to use this Mario pen to extract it all. Let's take a look. Okay. So dust bunnies are actually not all that bad. And I don't know what that beeping was. It was probably my PS4 because of there being no disc in there. But anyway, anyway, yeah. No dust bunnies. Thank goodness. But again, always look under there. But anyway, the rest of my desk. We have this little stand right here. This is for my Wii U whenever I want to, at least the gamepad, in case I want to use it. And in fact, the... PS3 controller is actually fitting here pretty well, too. See if you're just watching the video and you don't want to bump the triggers accidentally. There you go. Just... There you go. Just watch TV. How you doing? Anyway, so let's put that back. And then we have my keyboard. A piece of string. Okay, then we got a, a couple picks. Because I, I like to play guitar. And... That are actually meant for different things like this one's for just straight up playing regular songs and anything that's fast I like to use this like anything that's like fast strumming I like using that because it's worn down so much that doing fast picks like 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 fast playing is not all that hard however if you're trying to play regular old songs it doesn't have as much loudness as compared to this pick this it's just for messing, it's pretty much best of both worlds, but it's very, very oddly shaped, so, whatever. 4 gig flash drive, which is actually kind of bad. Uh, we also got a reader for SD cards, which is awfully big. And then a thing full of picks, which I don't even use all that much because, I don't know, because I have all these guys up here. And yeah, this is supposed to be Pick of Destiny, however, all the ink came off it. So that's why I don't want to touch the one in there. I have like two of them left. And one of them I might give to my friend Felicia. No, not you, Felicia, the one that you may be watching, but another Felicia that I went to high school with that loves Pick Destiny. Chapstick. Because chapstick's good. I had nail clippers somewhere. Now I'm concerned about where they went. Oh, here they are. Nail clippers. Because I like to trim my nails. Then we got my desktop, which is a piece of turd. But one day I will upgrade to a better gaming PC. And I got my blue snowball, my microphone, when I do my commentaries and such. But when it comes to on video, like on like you know like videos like this, like woo, I usually just use the mic built into the thing. But if I ever want to use this, I prefer using this because it's just much better quality sound. And then we got my cell phone, my regular cell phone. Like I use my iPod as my phone actually because this. It actually saves me a lot of money. But anyway, my mouse, which is not really good for gaming purposes, but I don't play PC games, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, I'm not signed in because I just restarted my computer because it was going through making sure there was nothing wrong with my computer. But anyway, that's my computer. It's a Dell Inspiron 531S with a 2.3 gigahertz dual core processor in there, about 4.5 gigs of RAM. Uh, I think that's 160 gig hard drive. No special video card. Whatever's like on board, that's there. It's there. Like it's not a legitimate like video card. It's just built into the motherboard, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, it's not good. It's not amazing. And I do need to upgrade to a legitimate gaming PC because also the two USB ports up there they are complete turds. They barely work. I accidentally hit the record button. So whoops. Anyway. Now, I think we're about done with half of the room tour. We need to keep going. Yeah. This is my chair. This is where I sit, you know, to record videos and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, under my bed. Do you really want to know what's under my bed? Fine, fine. Okay, there's Beyblade stuff down there back when I used to be in the Beyblade. I don't even touch it much anymore. And also, there are a couple of boxes full of cassette tapes, in case I want to watch movies on tape. Then I got my Guitar Hero drums down there, and my Guitar Hero guitars are mainly up here. And 
Also, there's a bunch of junk down there, too. That's I have no idea what's down there. Like, I know there's like another book bag down there, which I don't even use. Anyway, we got this shelf that I installed where it has my big figures because they used to sit on top of my games and getting paint, getting paint, getting games like under these figures was a total pain in the butt. So I just got rid of that issue. So there you go. Now they're up there. And there's still plenty of room up there too. So if I want to get some more smaller figures, I can put them in front without blocking the total view of the bigger figures. So that's awesome. Then we also got the third, uh, Smash Brothers poster, which has Villager going for a Smash Ball, and so is Kirby, Mario, and Link, with Isabel back there, but this is mainly a Animal Crossing motif. But, I love it. This one I actually have above my bed, because it actually looks pretty cool. And as you can tell, there's plenty of room on top and the bottom of it. So here I got the Sonic Boom comics, at least the first issue, where it has the f uh, four different things, and then there's a regular one. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. There's like four of the same comic that all integrate into like one giant cover. I'm going to frame all those up and move that poster down a little bit more and then put it up there so it looked really cool. Anyway, and then down here we have Mario Snuggle Buddy, Sonic Snuggle Buddy, two Crash Bandicoot Snuggle Buddies, and a Pikachu Snuggle Buddy. <laughs> and then my pillow... And then a couple of blankets, actually, because it gets cold now. Uh, I got a Sonic blanket, and then a red and blue blanket down there. And then my curtains, my Mario curtains. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if during my room tour it was bent before, because my friends would lean on it, and I had to get a new curtain rod. So hopefully my friends don't screw it up again. And then we got a couple of guitars. And also a Mario from Blockbuster. Uh, this is my SG, and then my Oscar Schmidt. And then my PV, that's supposed to be a Stratocaster uh, clone, but oh well, it does an okay job. Um, and then we got my fake Sonic Nendoroid in the box, because even though it's a bad figure, it's still look good in the box. Uh, Watch Dogs thingy that I used to have on top of my games, same with the GTA 4. And then we got my signed picture from Nintendo. And then we got... This little thing from Club Nintendo. And then we got a Sonic statue. Then we got a little guitar. And then a bunch of Sonic and Mario figures. And behind all those are about three GTO judges. And then there's a couple of GTO judges right beside Donkey Kong. Alright. And also, before I move on, I'm actually going to lay it down on my bed. So then you can actually see all my posters on my ceiling a lot better. So there's Wreck-It Ralph, there's Mario, there's Sonic Lost World, there's Mario 3D Land, Beavis and Butthead, Infamous, and then there's the History of Mario, and then down there is Sonic. I am probably going to eventually rearrange these so they're not like this, in fact, actually like going like this way, but uh, that's going to be a side project for another day. And also I have a couple of hooks, I have a hook right up there, and then a hook right up there and those are for my green screen so whenever I record I just I have my green screen on a few rings and then I just hook the rings up there and it just makes it a lot easier than just using thumbtacks and there you go whenever I want to record videos I just set it up and I'm good to go all right time for me to get up and let's continue so we got a uh, what's a, a Naruto Storm Revolution poster, uh, which has Mecha Naruto with QB mode back there, and then the Mecha Nine Tails box, and it uh, has a bunch of Japanese text, like some of it probably saying the assault of Mecha Naruto. Maybe I can't read Japanese, but I don't know. And then up here, okay. I've, obviously, there used to be a shelf up here, but I got rid of that. Actually, no, I moved it down, lo lower down here. But we'll continue about that pretty soon. This whole shelf is just my PlayStation games because I actually have more PlayStation than I do on Nintendo. As much as I love Nintendo, when it comes to third-party support, PlayStation has much better third-party support compared to Nintendo. And I don't like to go with Xbox because I don't like to have too many consoles. So, there we go. And I still have plenty of space for future room. 
Um, and in case I ever do run out of room, I could probably just stand up these and probably find a new spot for these and find a new spot for that. So there you go. And then down here, we also got my RC Sonic and then my GameCube, two Wii games and Wii U games. Um, because here I actually use backups for my Wii games, but I am going to start eventually rebuying my Wii games because I like having a shelf full of Nintendo games. And until I fill up the space, I'm just going to be using these guys to fill up the shelf. But when I do start running low on room, like, or like, like when I get more games, I'm going to move these guys up to where the big figures are. And also, uh... Once Amiibo starts coming out, also, I'm going to use this spot, maybe. And then, and once this room starts, once the shelf starts running low on room, I'm going to be putting a lot of these figures away and putting my Amiibo up here. So, I have to come up with a strategy plan for when this whole thing happens, because I don't have much room. And anyway, um, we also got a Sonic poster from my Nintendo Power. We got a Mario poster with the Mario cast. Then we got Yu-Gi-Oh poster, Pokemon poster, and Naruto poster. And my question mark block and my Happy Meal box are over here now. And then we get to my dresser. We get my wallet. A bag full of comics from Comic-Con. So that was fun. That's actually the only thing I got at Comic-Con. Then footage. A couple of thumbtacks for when I do my video reviews. This is actually where my video reviews take place Like when it comes to my figure reviews. I just take everything off, at least mostly everything, and then just put a white sheet up, and there you go. And, yeah. We got Pick a Destiny. We got uh, my first Beyblade. We got a little thingy. It's actually a little grip thing, I guess. I, I think it was actually supposed to be with my flip cam? I don't remember. Or my, I might have came with this too. I have no freaking idea. I'm not a doctor. And by this, I mean this camera. Uh, we got a Pokeball full of... Urgh, why can't you stay still? Full of these Pokemon Gold Play things and also the back piece to a Pokewalker because I have a clip on it instead which is much better than that. So you are going to go back up there. And you're going to stay. Hopefully. Uh, a a pick as a necklace, which I don't even use anymore because I don't know, I just grew out of that phase, I guess. Alright, and then we got, excuse me, a Slinky, then a Slinky Jr., which is pretty much a mini version of this. But a Pokemon checklist. There's a pre order card from Target, so I can get Little Big Planet 3. I get a $5 gift card and the plush. So I just gotta bring that in. Unfortunately, there's only a $1 reserve. It's not a full deposit deal, unfortunately. And oh crap, I still gotta pay for this game. Well. <sighs> oh well. Oh well. Anyway. We got posters that you already saw. Because uh, I've been thinking about my financial plan and, and there's a lot going wrong. Like. I'm so broke, but this like this is probably like the last thing I need to pay for myself, cause I wanted to do a full deposit and they only they won't let me. It's only a one dollar pre order, unfortunately. So, oh well. Then we got um, eight bit shades, a Toys R Us now hiring card that Meg gave to me, so she can say, "Hey, Kyle, get a job." You know what? No. <laughs> Then we got a Minecraft sword, which you're all familiar with. Then we got Band-Aids, playing cards from Club Nintendo. That was easy. From Staples. <laughs> uh, Mario Power Up Drink, which is so many years old now, it's probably so gross now. I want to try it. I heard it tastes like Red Bull, but I never had Red Bull, so I have no idea. Then we got my lamp, which is one of my things for light that and sunlight then we also have another light down here there's actually where my tripod is and my light is down there as well and a couple of bags from comic place free comic book day which they ironically they still use to this day and uh, what's it Grand Theft Auto 5
There you go. That was a year ago. Holy crap. Anyway, big pencil. It's actually chalk, which is really cool. Giant eraser, which is actually a functional eraser. Gummies from less than a year ago. It's about almost a year ago, actually. And then this is where my DS games are now. And this is a new shelf that I put up as well. So I'm going to find a new spot for all this stuff once I get more 3DS games because I'm getting a couple of new 3DS games pretty soon. I'm getting Sonic Boom, which is tomorrow as of this recording. And what else? Uh, Pokemon. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. So I just need to move this down just a slightly a little bit and just find a new way to organize this, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, this is my 3D, my, yeah, my, my DS collection, and here there's, uh, there's these games, Diddy Kong, Mario Kart, and Pokemon with an R4, which I don't even use all that much anymore, because I buy my games, because I have money. So, there you go, if you want to see what games I have for the DS, there you go. Then my 3DS games are down here as well. There you go. And also, if you want to see my PlayStation and Wii games, and uh, anything Nintendo actually, and I just sucked on my post not my posters, but my comics. So that wasn't good. Anyway, uh, there's my Crash games that I have, and I just hit my guitar. All right. Uh, and this little thing right here this is actually Guitar Hero Van Halen. Jack and Daxter, Kingdom Hearts, man, the light glare is not all that great. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make it easier for you guys. There you go. Then we've got a couple of PS1 games. Okay, right here, this is just a disc for the Game Boy Player, which I don't even know why I have it up here. This should actually be <laughs> down here. <laughs> there you go. Now I got a little bit more room for my PlayStation games. I got enough for like one more game. Wow. Okay, then these are... Okay, Pac-Man World and a demo disc. And then we got this. This is Metal Gear VR Missions. Really fun, actually. Recommend it. Um, there you go. There are a couple Crazy Frog CDs because I used to listen to Crazy Frog. And here, there's mostly my Crash Bandicoot games. A couple more games in here. Couple of GameCube games in here. Uh, autofocus, please. Okay, and then you can see what GameCube games I have. Then we move on to my Wii. And then the Wii U. And the library is always expanding. And then we got the figures again. And then we got this stuff up here too. So, there you go. <clears throat> then we got my movies. Got a couple of tins full of gift cards that are mostly empty. And then we got a couple of NES controller tens. Then we got a couple of movies. Some of these, like this, is burnt from my uncle, because here he mainly burns them as a backup for over here. He also, like, gives it to the rest of the family, too, in case something happens to his collection for some reason. And he also gets us movies, so that's awesome. Uh, but I like to buy some, some of my movies like actually on disc, like proper disc. Because you got to support your, your developers and stuff. Get Beavis and Butthead and stuff. Final Fantasy, I love these Final Fantasy movies. They're, they're just Advent Children, but this one, Advent Children Complete, totally worth picking up. I highly recommend it. Gumby, because Gumby is the coolest. <laughs> Couple of Home Alone movies. They probably don't even work anymore, so I have to re-get them. Neighbors. I want to see that movie really badly, but I want to watch it with my brother. Then we got Pokemon. More Pokemon. I actually, I, I told him not to burn this movie for me because I actually wanted to buy the movie, but no, I still never did. Cause mainly because I wanted to get the cards, but I ended up getting Latios and Latios eventually. So okay, this is Shrek the uh the story so far, which is only like the first two movies in the 3D thing, 3D special from Universal Studios. But, yeah. Then we got Sonic, Supersonic, which ironically does not, not, does not have Supersonic in it. And these two I didn't even watch yet because my ex-girlfriend got me them. 
And that day, she gave me gave these to me. I broke up with her. I know, I'm a total douche. But it's, it's a long story why I broke up with her. Anyway, we also got Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. This is part one. There's still another set that I need to get in order to complete the series. Sonic Underground, Sonic X, which, honestly, I like. And then we got uh, Spider-Man from 67. And then we got more Spider-Man, Spy Kids, which I used to love Spy Kids. Mario Brothers 3, Ninja Turtles, uh, Toy Story, and Yu-Gi-Oh! And then, back here is my AR card, a giant one, and then the other side is Mario. And then, a bunch of my boxes for my Figma, and Android, uh, SH Figure Arts, D Arts, Wind Waker poster, and fan! Because it gets hot in here sometimes, and I like to make it colder. But now it's getting super duper freaking cold, so now I need to put in heat. So, yeah. So, that's... That's my room! There you go. It's a much, much longer room tour because I actually went more in depth on what's all inside my room. So, there you go, guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, then don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And, I don't know. I still need to think of more stuff to do for my 2,000 subscribers special because, I don't know. Because I need to do something. But I honestly can't do much. But whatever. But here you go. A lot of you guys were asking for this. And I finally did it. And I've been wanting to do it myself too. Like I, I really want to do another room tour. But I always kept saying, oh, let me get this one more thing. Let me get one more thing. Let me get one more thing. And there's still things I still need to get. Like I still need to get the Link Nendoroid. I still need to get couple of figures uh, there's a bunch of stuff I still need to get but well I need to update you guys on what's going on with my room but if you follow me on Instagram I take pictures of stuff that I get so there you go so if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw then don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe and pretty soon I'm starting a Sonic Boom let's play I heard it's gonna be a disappointing game so yeah, that's gonna be exciting. I don't know. I don't know. This is gonna be bad. Anyway, guys, uh, I think I'll see you guys next video.